Here you go. Oh, thanks. Man, what do you say? 85, 86? Mmm, must be at least that hot. Not what you expect in January, huh? Well, that's the great thing about living in L.A. You never know what to expect. It's true. So you were telling me about Brooke's baby. Oh, Thorn, she's so precious. Yeah? And, um, you should have seen your father. Really? Dad was there? Yeah. He was at the nursery. He was looking through the glass. So did you talk to him? Yeah, a little bit. How's he holding up? He is completely taken with that baby. Well, he's, he's got to be feeling some pressure, though. Oh, not that I noticed at all. In fact, he basically told me that he hopes the baby's his. He said that to you? Yes, he did. Wow. I don't even think he'd admit that to me. Well, you know the way men are around me. Yeah, they just kind of pour their hearts out, don't they? Well, I just seem to have that effect on them. You know something? You could be big trouble. And you love it. And you know that I love it. That's what makes it all the more dangerous. Well, you know when I'm the biggest trouble of all? Is on hot, sizzling January nights. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Take me to the beach and I will. Take you to the beach? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are we gonna do at the beach? Well, I'll let you contemplate that from here to there. Are you serious you want to go to Malibu? Unless you'd rather not. No, no, no. I'm, I think this is very interesting. Well, um, I thought we could go to the bikini and we could warm up on the dance floor and then we could cool off in the surf. I'll go put on my bathing suit. Uh -huh. No bathing suits allowed, my love. So, so do we have enough on tap? Yeah, I got two extra barrels in the walk -in. Okay, well, you, be you better put two more in because this is going to be a big night. Hey, you got it. Now we're set for housewife. It's about 20 gallons. And red? Uh, 10 and 15 bucks. Okay. Looks like we're set. Hey, I'm all set, boss. Listen, you're going to jam. Hey, I'll, I'll push the juice. Yeah, right. Well, I'll be right over there if you need me. I didn't hear that. Keith, this is going to be the biggest party since August. You need a night off. Hey, I'll get by. Don't stress on it. Right? Right, well, see, I'm going to be right over at that table. That uh, fox who was in here the other night? She's a friend, Keith. Not a fox. Yeah. A friend. Whatever. <clears throat> so, ready for a good time? Oh, more than ready. You look pretty terrific. Thanks, you. Sorry this isn't much of a first date. I mean, you know, not, not that you're my date. More like a... Sly, you are most definitely my date tonight, okay? And I'm excited about it. Not that I'm over for or anything, but... I'm on the road back. I'm really trying to get on with my life just like he is. So let's just, you know, have fun and, and forget all about Lauren and what's her name. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, uh, Keith, why don't you send us over a couple of brews? Got it. and scare me like that. If you think you're scared now, you wait until you hear what I have to say to you. Sit up, Brooke. I've got a dose of reality for you that I am about to deliver. Don't talk to me that way, Stephanie. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, no, you won't. Not anymore. It's all slipping away from you. It's slipping through your fingertips. Your worst nightmare about to be realized. Brooke Logan Forrester just gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. And guess who's in love with her? Ridge.
I didn't think it was possible. What? That you could sink any lower. Oh, don't bore me. I've heard all this before. So. You're so desperate. Do I look desperate to no, you? No, you don't, because you think you've won, but you haven't. Brooke, you've given up any vestige of dignity that you had left to make a futile last grab for Ridge. I am not trying to hold on to him. Are you going to tell me that what happened at that cabin was a spontaneous act of God? I was running away from Ridge. That's why I went up there in the first place, Stephanie. I didn't plan this snowstorm, and I didn't plan going into labor. Then why did you call him? Why did you create this crisis? And why did you go to a place where it was so easy for him to find you? Stephanie, the situation created itself. Call it destiny. Things happen the way they're supposed to. You know, this would be funny if it wasn't so pathetic. Oh, just get out of here. How many times do I have to tell you? You are not going to have him. I don't care if he delivers ten babies. He's in love with his wife. <sighs> you weren't there, Stephanie. You don't know what it did to him. Helping me bring our beautiful baby girl into this world. And she is our baby girl. You're deluding yourself. No, no, not this time. The way he looked at me, the way he treated me, I have seen that look before. I am not pursuing Ridge. I don't have to. His marriage to Taylor is going to fall apart on its own, completely on its own. Let me tell you something, and I'm warning you. There is nothing, nothing that I won't do to keep you from ruining my son's life. Stephanie, you sound like an old, broken record. I can tell you what's going to come out of your mouth oh, next. Oh, you think you can? Well, let me paint a picture exactly of what I can do for you. And if you've heard it before, please, by all means, just stop me. So you don't want me wearing a bathing suit? Well, it's just that it's such a hot night, honey, and I, I don't think there's any need for you to overdress. Well, then what do you say you and I just kind of hang out here? Well, that sounds like fun. But the beach will be more fun. You promise? I guarantee you. Unless you and I hit the pavement, sweetheart. Thorn. I love you. Shades of last summer. Yeah, maybe for you. No. No, this is better. Yeah, you know, it almost is. Uh, to a new year. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> what did you end up doing New Year's Eve? Uh, uh, went to the uh, pier. Which pier? Santa Monica. Oh, is there something going on down there? No. Uh, just me and the uh, street people. <laughs> As I recall, you had on a tuxedo. Yeah, yeah, uh, I fit right in. Oh, God, Sly, I bet you just wanted to kill me for stabbing you up. No, but I'd like to kill you right now for bringing it up. Is anything wrong? No, I'm, I'm just thirsty. 
Are you ready for the beach yet? Uh, not yet. Does this place have some bad memories for you? Macy and I used to come here quite a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if she and Jake are huddled in some corner somewhere. Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> What? Do you believe that? Now she's with Sly. Okay, let's go. No, no, I, I want to see some of this. Naked underneath the towel? Uh, well, maybe they're right. I last wave took my suit off. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, well, I kind of just right, didn't I? <laughs> oh, man, I love the scene. Want to dance? Yeah, sure. <laughs> man, I had her figured all wrong. The hell, why shouldn't she date a bunch of guys? Come on, let's dance. I can rescue this evening from total disintegration. Well, it's not going to disintegrate. How are you going to stop? Oh, you just give me a minute. I'll think of something. I have a plan of my own. <laughs> hey, something wrong? So what do you intend to do? Do you know how long I've been part of the fashion industry? Probably centuries. I'm the wife of a legend. The ex-wife of a legend? No, that's not how it is perceived, Brooke. I am the Mrs. Eric Forrester. Always have been and always will be. And even you, with your limited vision, noticed that. What is your point, Stephanie? I'm a woman of some influence. Just how long do you think that it would take me, with all of my connections, to get the word out about you? <laughs> what are you talking about? Adultery. First with my husband, and then with my son. I'm talking about three. One, two, three illegitimate children. Let me paint a picture for you of exactly what I can do to your life by simply telling the truth. She is doing that just to get to me. Well, it certainly seems to be working. No, it's not. It's not because I'm starting to get the picture here. Which is what? Macy likes running around. She can't commit. She couldn't commit to our marriage. She couldn't even commit to Jake. And now Sly is the sucker. Well, good, Macy. I hope you have a lot of fun. Keith, two more beers, please. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Even though it wasn't meant for me. <clears throat> what do you mean? I saw Thorn and Karen over there. Oh, God, Sly, I'm sorry. 
Don't worry about it. Come on, I'll, I'll play that part anytime you want. No, no, it was a really stupid thing for hey. me to do. Come on. Come on, don't tighten up. You know, I just do things that I don't ordinarily do when I see those two together. You want to leave? <sighs> yeah. I gotta go to the restroom first. Excuse me. Threatening to slander me? Is that what you're saying? It isn't slander if it's based on the truth. And this certainly is the truth, isn't it? You've been pregnant three times out of wedlock. You've had an extramarital affair with my husband and my son. For God's sakes, you slept with my son while you were married to his father. And now you've just had a baby and you don't even know who the real father is. I could paint a very unsavory picture of you, and every detail would be based on the truth. Why, Stephanie, what? For what cause? To ruin me? No, that is not why I would do it. Then why? To protect two innocent children. A brand new little baby, and a little boy who spends half his life with a babysitter. How dare you? These children are nothing but a means to an end for you, and I know that. I love my children. You use your children. You always have. You use the first one to try and get Ridge to marry you. Sorry, you had a miscarriage. The second one, Eric Jr., you used to take my husband away from me. And now, now you're using this beautiful, brand new little baby girl to try and take Ridge away from Taylor. You're a slut and any court in the land would agree. Court? Yes, court. And I promise you that's where I'll take you if you try and take Ridge away from Taylor. If you do, I'll let loose the wrath of hell on you. I'll make the pornography of your life an open book for everyone to see. And we'll let the public and the courts decide whether you're a fit mother or you're not, or if those children belong with someone else. I'm telling you, I will use every resource that I have, and I'll win. Because you've made it easy for me to win. You stay away from Rich and Taylor, or I'll cut you into little Nurse! 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 Yes, of course. The patient's upset. She needs a sedative. You think about what I said because I'll do it. You can't do this, Stephanie. I won't let you do this. You can't take my babies away from me. Do you hear me? You can't do this. Thorne? How you doing, Macy? Excuse me, what are you upset about? How can you do it, Thorne? Do what? You slept with her. And now you act as if I didn't mean a thing to you. How can you do it, huh? How can you do it to me? Do it? Then we are going to talk. About what? About the way you're acting. What is it, Macy? What is going on with you? We are going to talk right now and get to the bottom of this.